within about a month after I got my boat, the uh, MFD was always showing that my starboard tank was at 100%, um, was 100% full. And even when it's clearly not. So um, it's been kind of a, uh, a trivial matter, but irritating nonetheless. So I finally have gotten around to um, tracking down the problem, which has turned out to be a faulty liquid level sensor. And I ordered a replacement and now it's time to um, actually go through that replacement. So um, these things work through resistance. There is a, this is the new one. There is a uh, float that as it moves up with the liquid level, um, it changes the resistance of the circuit. And um, well, this one isn't working correctly. So I'm gonna pull it out and uh, show you the readings that it's giving on an ohm meter and then um, demonstrate what it's supposed to be. And then, uh, yeah, just a simple matter of pulling this old one, replacing the replacing it with the new and um, fitting some new connections. It should be fairly simple and straightforward. Let's see. So the way the system works is the Empire bus is sending out a um, DC voltage at right around a half a volt. And then the float on the liquid level sender um, moves up and down with the level of fluid in the tank and adjusts the resistance on that circuit. So um, the ABYC standard, I think, is 33 ohms of resistance at full. And then as the, as the level drops to empty, I think it's 240 ohms. It might be the other way around, I'll have to check. Um, but 33 at one end, 240 ohms at the other end. And, um, well here, let's hook this up here to the multimeter set to ohms and let's, uh, let's measure what this one's doing. So I've connected my multi-tester to the leads from the old sensor and set that unit to ohms. And looking here, the float is at the top of the uh, shaft here, and I'm getting a reading of 14 ohms. And if I slide this all the way down to what would be the bottom, I'm getting 24 ohms. So my range is 24. To 14, um, which would explain to me why this is always reading um, full. So that kind of clarifies my previous question of what numbers at which end. A full reading would be 33 ohms or less, which is the problem. Anywhere on this old sender I go is less than 33 ohms. So that's why it's always reading full. Um, something's going on with the... I don't know if this is a read switch or several read switches in here or how that works, but um, this is telling me that this is not, um, it's never going to give me a greater resistance than 24 ohms, which means I'm never going to get a um, reading of less than totally full. So now I'll hook up the new sensor and uh, see what that gets. I'm expecting 33 to 240. Let's see what it really is. Okay, there we go. I've hooked up the new um, sender and I'm just moving the float around. Uh, this is the top and there we see 33 ohms. And then as I move, actually was that even in frame? Let's try it again, 33 ohms. And then as I move it, basically as the level of liquid is decreasing, this float is moving down towards the end of the sender. And when we get near the bottom, there's 196. And right near the bottom, it just kind of goes to 
infinity, I think, is what's going on there. So not really getting a 240, but essentially it's going to read empty any time past, what, about an inch? Yeah, there we go. So this one appears to be working correctly. So now it's just a matter of making the electrical connections and um, installing this back into the tank. Let's do it. Okay, now let's fire this thing up and let's test it before I actually install it in the tank. So let's see what we can get when I move this up and down. Let's see what happens up at the up at the instruments. Okay, so that test went all right. I'm, I guess I'm a little bit, a little bit confused as to why my range was 98% on the full side, down to only 1% on the empty side, rather than zero and 100. Um, the one thing that I can think of is that on the full side, if 33% in the software, or 33 ohms in the software is calibrated to zero. Um, I remember when we tested this, I think it was 33.4 ohms. I wouldn't think that that is a significant difference. What is that, 1% basically? Um, I guess that would account for some of it, possibly. Um, the other is, I'm wondering about these connections here. I did not have these type of um, kind of plug-in connections um, handy. And by handy, I mean not on the boat at all. Um, so I crimped them, and I guess I could be getting some resistance here. As I think about that, um, our reference voltage was less than half a volt, so... Any resistance introduced by this connection as a percentage of that could be significant. Um, I don't understand on the zero side um, why I would not get a full zero reading. Why would it not be zero? Because, I mean, it went well past the 240. Um, I think the last reading, I'm not sure what's inside these, if it's a series of read switches. Um, maybe somebody knows and can shine some light on that. That would make sense. Um, every so often there's a read switch. Um, I guess the more switches would be a higher resolution sensor. Why would it be zero? Or why would it not read zero when the float is all the way at the bottom? I don't know the answer. But what I do know is that 1% um, is an empty enough for me for practical purposes. And 98% is close enough to full. Um, it certainly leaps and bounds above having a um, liquid level sensor that always reads 100% full. So at least I've got an idea of what's in the tank here. Let's see here. I've got about two thirds of a tank, I'd say. And that was a pretty good guess. There's 
So that makes me happy.